Hi, today we're going to talk about the latest version of Fraport. Yes, we just released version 2 and we have added even more functionality. You can find the latest version, version 212, in GitHub. Go to JFrog Frogbot. So, what is Frogbot? Excellent question! Frogbot is a Git bot that scans pull requests for security vulnerabilities and opens pull requests for upgrading vulnerable dependencies to a version with a fix. Frogbot will scan a pull request when it's either open or updated, and it will post a comment on the pull request. Frogbot supports several project types. If you have, for example, an NPM, Maven, or Go project, you can start using Frogbot right now. You can add Frogbot to any GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket repository. After adding Frogbot, whenever a developer creates a pull request, a workflow is triggered. The scan will include only new vulnerabilities added by the pull request, not for existing ones. The report will be added as a comment on the pull request, highlighting if there was no issues or if issues were found, adding the severity, impacted package, version, fixed versions, and the component. The new functionality added on version 2 for NPM, Maven, and Go projects is the automatic opening of pull requests to upgrade the version of a dependency. The new version is suggested based on the X-ray scan functionality, known issues, and the version number that fix said issues are taken into consideration when creating the automatic pull requests. This functionality is supported on GitHub and GitLab. Bitbucket will be added soon. First step to benefit from a better dependency management is to add Frogbot to your project repository. Frogbot requires a JFrog environment to scan pull requests. In case you don't have one, you can create a free JFrog environment in the cloud. Make sure you have your environment URL, username and password, or create an access token. If you want to know more about this topic, you can visit jfrog.com and read more about it. Now let's add Frogbot to a GitHub repository. Here I have a very basic Maven project. The first step is to add the GitHub action for scanning and creating automatic pull request to the Maven repository. For that, we can copy the templates directly from the JFrog Frogbot repository. We need the Maven template for the pull request scanning. To copy the action, I suggest you use the raw version of the document. You need to add the Frogbot GitHub action inside the GitHub workflow directory. Create a new file and add the content of the Frogbot template for scanning pull requests. Don't forget to add the Frogbot GitHub action for creating automatic pull requests. Once you have added these files to your repo, two new actions should be available under the Actions tab. Frogbot and Frogbot Fixed. In both actions, I'm using the JFrog URL and the JFrog access token. Don't forget to configure them inside Settings, Actions, Repository Secrets. There you can add JFrog access token and the JFrog URL. Let's try them. I'm creating a new pull request that adds a well-known vulnerability on a dependency. In this case, log4j version 1.2.17. Don't do this at home. As soon as we create the pull request, we can see that some actions are triggered. If we have a closer look in the Actions tab, there is a Frogbot workflow run. 
This workflow has a job name, scan pull request. If the job is successful, the pull request will be updated. A new comment is added with the report of the vulnerability scan. It's up to the repo owner, admins, or any user to comment or request a change, maybe even approve the pull request. For demo purposes, we will merge this pull request. As soon as a pull request is merged, new workflows are triggered. In this case, we are very much interested on the FrogBot fix run. After the FrogBot job is finished, if there is a vulnerable dependency with a fixed version, the FrogBot will create a pull request. Oh no, there are none fixed version for this dependency. Well, that is true. We need to change the package ID and the artifact ID. A new pull request is needed to change the package ID to org Apache login log4j and the artifact ID to log4j core. As soon as we create the pull request, Frogbot will trigger the pull request scan workflow. This version has vulnerability issues too, so a new comment is added to the pull request with the full scan report. But in this case, there are fixed versions available. Anyway, we will merge it as is. Again, don't do this at home. Once the pull request is merged, the workflow for creating automatic pull requests to fix vulnerable dependencies is triggered. This time, after the workflow finished successfully, there is a new pull request in our repo. Yay! The pull request is to upgrade the Oracle Apache Logging Log4j Log4j Core Library to version 2.12.4. With one commit by Frogbot, the commit updates the dependency in question to version 2.12.4. If this update fits our needs, I hope so, we can approve it and merge it. That's all for today. Happy coding. I hope you enjoyed this demo of JFrog FrogBot. See you soon.